our hydro has been out since last evening. We had a very strong and damaging windstorm in our area, took down a few hydro poles. So we woke up feeling a little bit off grid, so to speak. <laughs> and also why I'm brushing my teeth outside. So my friends, what does it feel like to minimize material things in your life so drastically that everything you own now fits in a 10 by 10 storage unit? And what do you think it feels like to leave your comfortable, newly renovated, warm and cozy home that you've known for 20 years to relocate 2,100 kilometers away to an off-grid land in the wilderness without structures? And what do you think it feels like to chase your dreams so hard that you find yourself buying property you've never seen on an island you've never visited to a culture you've never known? What does it feel like to seriously live your life to the fullest? Well, I will tell you, it feels free and amazing and scary at the same time, but it's perfect. My name is Bethany, and if this is your first tap into my channel, thanks for checking things out. My man friend, our daughter, and myself are currently preparing for the biggest change of our lives, a move from southwestern Ontario to Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, here in Canada. It has been a daunting six months. I can't even believe all that we have done to prepare to this point. We hit the road forever in eight sleeps. And what we're currently doing now is gathering up any last minute remnants of trash and walking around sort of one last time, just making sure we have all the things that we do want to keep that we haven't forgotten. This thing. No. No. Okay, I'm overheating. I've been documenting our journey here on YouTube, mainly to keep track of our memories. And as it turns out, my friends and family are enjoying the updates too. So if you're looking for inspiration on how to drop what you're doing, step out of the race and chase your own dream, you've come to the right place. I am 44 years old going on 45 this year. My man friend is 49 going on 50. I'm a retired funeral director turned licensed dog groomer and my man friend is a semi-retired licensed HVAC heating and cooling technician. We both grew up on farms in the same community. 
We each have an older sister, we each have a mom, and we each have a dad who's deceased. Last summer, late in the season, Manfriend and I had a pretty decent aha moment during an early morning coffee visit on the back deck. You see, for as long as we have been together, which is 20 years now, we've always talked about someday moving into the wilderness and building a small cabin on the lake and living a quiet, simple, minimalistic life within nature. I can honestly stand here today and tell you, I didn't actually believe it was a reachable dream. It's so easy to talk about it and wish for it, but it is a whole other ballgame to actually do it. Things are a bit of a mess, a little bit of disarray, but it's just because this is the last of our stuff. We've had no hydro to really wash dishes or anything, so we're just waiting for that to do a big cleanup. A um, few more boxes to bring up from downstairs. A little bit of carpet cleaning down there. Um, but that's about it. All of these other items here, anything you kind of see that's decor, belongs to my stepdaughter. <laughs> so, there. We're done, we can't find anything. We've walked around and walked around and walked around, cannot find any more garbage. Oh, and by the way, we're, we're going to the dump tomorrow. <laughs> this is all for my car and one more crate out back. This is going in the boat, that box is going in the boat. There's some stuff in there already. Tia's bed will get collapsed and go in the boat. Ooh -wee. Now we're gonna watch Moot try to ramp the quad onto the truck. Little test run, he says. Little test run. <laughs> so the question I have, Mooch, is you can get it on, but are you gonna be able to get it off out there? Ramp it off. Careful, careful. Okay. Is it garbage? This yeah. I know what you're doing. You're gonna back it up there, I know. <laughs> no problem. No problem, he says. Famous last word. Do you recall when we were young Running from all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, On this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time So that morning on the deck, our aha moment came to be when I said to man friend out of the blue do you think if we wait another five to ten years to do something like this that we will be physically able to do it? I mean, by the time we get done doing all the planning and all the work, we may be too old to even enjoy it. And man friend sighed and replied, yeah, I hear ya. And we both stared off into a daydream for another moment, and out of nowhere, I spotted two bald eagles flying overhead towards us. It's a very rare thing to see eagles in southwestern Ontario and I gasped. I was like, look, eagles. And we watched in wonder as they flew by us and then we gazed at each other like we both had the same thought at the same time and said, should we just bite the bullet and do this life change now? The answer was obviously yes. 
and that very day we began looking for our dream property until we found it. Bruises, they come and they go. And we have to try and keep up, cause this life's so much more. Seek me.